What's going on YouTube and welcome to my video and today I'm going to be talking about the top three supplements you skinny guys need to take in order to build muscle and gain size so stay tuned. <music> hey guys I know the problem you've just started out in the gym right and you wanted to build muscle you wanted to gain some size you wanted to impress your friends you wanted to impress a girl uh, but you're quite a skinny guy you've always been skinny you might have been struggling to gain weight whatever it might be um, you want to start working out. First thing you do is you go down to your local supplement store. Now this supplement store is daunting. There's so many products on the shelf. You know, there's there's creatine. You've got you've got different types of protein. You've got that sales guy. You know, pointing your face, then to buy this and buy, buy that. Which, let's be honest, is going to be probably the most expensive thing he probably tells you to buy, right? And you still not know where to start. So I'm going to give you some tips on what only three supplements that you actually do need and more importantly, the ones that you shouldn't be wasting any of your money on, right? Okay guys, so the number one supplement that you should be buying is creatine. Creatine is probably the most known supplement out there. Not only that, it's also probably the most researched supplement and the most tested supplement as well. Now what creatine does, so creatine will help you improve your strength in the gym. It will also help you recover faster from the gym as well, so you won't get as injured so much. Not only that, creatine, like I said, is the most tested supplement out there. So here's a study where they were t basically taking um, a group of American footballers. One group they gave creatine to, the other group they didn't. And the, basically the group they gave creatine to, you know, had uh, better endurance, had less calf injuries, less cramp, less muscle injuries. Generally built a little bit more muscle mass as well. The best thing to take with creatine is basically just take three to five grams a day and you can mix it in it with anything you want, it's pretty much tasteless and take that every single day, even when you're not training you don't have to preload on it, you don't have to do anything like that just supplement it into your diet every single day if you can now side effects, of course nothing has side effects I could eat 100 apples and still get some sort of side effects but the side effects and creatine are so minimal that are not worth mentioning all it basically does is attract water to your muscle and we all know that the only thing that you need to build muscle is energy and water so basically it attracts more water to your muscle to help that build that little bit of strength for you so basically you have to have creatine it's so cheap to buy it's just there isn't any reason okay the second one is whey or casein protein yes i mentioned two there but there's a reason for this so whey protein is basically a faster release protein that takes around 90 minutes to digest into your system there's also a massive myth out there that you have to have protein within 30 minutes of finishing your gym session you know to hit that anabolic window as some people say this is a complete myth and that isn't the case um, it's actually been proven actually that if you take protein before you go to the gym you actually can actually get more benefit of that because after you work out basically your body's going to use your you know your stored glycogen stores and stuff like that to help repair rebuild and get energy from it's not going to use the protein shake you've just you know quickly downed after the gym to try and get it in now the reason why I say casein because I prefer casein protein. Now casein is a slow release protein that releases over five hours. So typically I take this before I go to bed basically and I'm getting a slow release of protein throughout the night. So basically I'm not getting a period of starvation so my mus muscles basically have a better chance of protein synthesis. The most important thing is that you're going to get your protein in. So you want to aim for around a pound, sorry a gram of protein per pound of body fat basically. Um, just so you're making sure you're getting the best possible chance of protein synthesis in your body and the best chance of you repairing and building that muscle for you. The third one, I've, gonna, I've sort of lumped this all into one and it's basically your, your vital vitamins and minerals that you need to take. Now these, for me, come in the form of a good fish oil like cod liver oil. I also take something, I also take zinc uh, and magnesium and vitamin D. Now all these together are absolutely vital in if you want to build your muscle, especially if you're a skinny guy as well. Now the reason cod liver oil is so good and all the other vitamins is it helps you basically repair your muscles and especially if you're just starting out in the gym and you're working out really hard and you're getting those pains in your joints and tendons, a good fish oil will really help. Uh, basically you recover quicker and then when you'll be able to go to the gym more often then. Um, because the last thing you want to do is get injured, you've injured your elbow, your tendons are hurt, you can't go to the gym. That is going to stop your gains because consistency is one of the most important things you can take. So yeah, take fish oil basically. Now zinc and magnesium are really good with the vitamin D because this basically keep a healthy testosterone level for you. So basically, um, testosterone is such an important key when it comes to building muscle. Why more men can build bigger muscles than women basically. And they will keep your levels to a really good sort of level. So obviously they won't jump really high, so you won't have a ridiculous high, but they'll keep it at a nice baseline for you. So that's why I sort of take those and supplement it into my diet as much as I can. Now I'm going to give you the ones that you need to avoid. 
well, I'm not going to say avoid because that's a bit of a strong word. So I'm going to say the ones that you're probably going to waste your money on. And the number one for me is mass gainers. Now, mass gainers are typically filled with sugar and fats and loads of and loads of calories, basically, with loads of carbohydrates. Now, these are one of the first things where you're walking into a store and the and one of the people inside the supplement store will see a, see a skinny guy coming in and automatically say, "Take this mass gainer. You're gonna you know you're gonna gain loads of weight and muscle with this." While that's true in the short term, I personally used to take these. And what you do find with, because they've got so much sugar and fats in there, is that what happens is, is you start getting a lot of fat rather than muscle. Because the greens are that good, what you're gonna find is, you are gonna build muscle, no doubt, but you are gonna also get a lot of fat to build up as well. And I used to find I used to have like a massive ring of belly fat after taking mass gainers for a while. And trust me, it's harder to lose a fat than it is to gain it. So it's something you definitely don't wanna take. And another one which is, again is massively out there is any form of testosterone boosters now you'll find out that these come in really fancy packaging the people in the store sort of shoving them down your throat or take these you'll have you'll have really high levels of testosterone you'll be able to build muscle they're really good the fact is if you look on the ingredients in a any testosterone booster basically it's going to be most of the vitamins i've just mentioned before but the only difference is you're going to pay 10 times more because it's supplemented as a testosterone boost, booster in a package, basically. Um, testosterone boosters are good for people who have really low test levels. So what they'll do is they'll help you, you have, they'll help your body um, produce a natural level of testosterone, so you get to like an average sort of normal level. But if you've already got sort of an average level of testosterone and your body's producing the right amount, it ain't gonna increase it any higher. It's basically not do anything really for you. So that's it. So. I so I used to be a skinny guy myself, like really skinny in my twenties. Now I was about 150 pounds, and I went. You no, know, I'm, I'm around about 180 at the moment. Um, and it, the only thing I'm going to say to you, even with all these supplements and everything else, the most important thing is consistency with your training. So get a plan in place and stick to it as much as you can. Make sure your diet um, is on point, and also make sure you get enough protein in. That is one of the main things if you're wanting to build muscle and gain size, basically. And do not expect to do this over a couple of months or even a year. For me, it took about three or four years to get from 150 to 180 pounds. So that's sort of the time frame you really want to be thinking about. I know it's not a quick fix. I know it's not gonna, you're not gonna wake up tomorrow and you can be like, you know, you're gonna be like the next, you know, Mr. Olympia or anything. But the fact is, if you're building it any quicker than that, you're gonna build a lot of fat and it's just something you really don't want to do because the look of your physique and your face and everything is just not gonna be great. And you know, the girls that you're trying to impress by building a good physique are not gonna be put off because now you've got two chins or you've got a massive belly or you've got, you know, really flabby, you know, breasts or whatever it might, it might be. So yeah, remember consistency, hard work, patience, and you just need those basic supplements. Make sure you're taking them consistently and incorporating it with your diet. I'll tell you what, you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, so thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions, please mention in the comments below. Cheers.